Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 9 of my journey through group self-found Necropolis League. Today I'm going to be leveling my second character of the League. It's going to be a Templar using Glacial Cascade Totems. Call it, it Cascades Glaciers. Start with Glacial Hammer. So if you are newer to the channel and haven't seen how I go through leveling new characters, I'm going to level this character without any of my stash that I've already generated playing in the league. Pretty much as if I was on a fresh league start and I'm actually still going to play Glacial Cascade Totems, get it to maps, and then I'll gear it up with the stuff I have set aside for it. So we'll get to see like how the skill functions and what its potential is in a leveling scenario with whatever I find along the way. And I'm confident that it will not be that difficult to get it through the campaign. You can you can play pretty much anything you want through the campaign. Adds a little bit more challenge to it along the way too, rather than just putting on gear and face rolling everything. The one exception to not using Twink Gears, I will put on Wanderlust just for quality of life. Though now I will be able to remove this at the end of Act 6 because I can get Fuse Immunity that way. But... The plan for the build, I have a six link. I have a one that has some cold to spells on it. I have a level 21 Glacial Cascade, a replica Dragon Fangs Flight or Glacial Cascade, and a Taste of Hate. That's it. And we're going to put it together and see what happens. But before I get going, I want to give a shout out to my channel members. I have enough members now that I unlocked this bar on my channel that shouts out members, which is really cool, as there were several new members in the past week. So thank you to Sergio Susiu, Robin Melotronical, Giovanni Robira for the new memberships, Adam and Vadim for the two months, Penguinol for the four months, Jinglestown for the five months, Tier 2, Huey for the five months, Flecky for 26 months, Tier 2, Trinant for the 8 months, and Carl for the 9 months. I really, really appreciate you guys. The support means the world. And there's really not many perks to being a member, aside from getting a badge and standing out in the comments and on Discord. I am in the works on commissioning emotes for members, but I am also really don't want to ever get to the point where I'm putting my content behind a paywall so i'm not doing like member exclusive videos or stuff i want everything that i make to be available to everybody sometimes if i get a video done early i'll throw the unlisted link out to members but youtube also doesn't give me a good way to say thank you to channel members because there's no way for DMs and stuff via YouTube. So unless you comment on the video, I might never even know until I go digging through YouTube analytics. But I wanted to just say thank you and make sure I didn't miss anybody. And I hope to keep bringing fun content here to YouTube. Now let's get this thing going. I want to spec into some damage. No freeze pulse. This is going to force me into frost bolt. Got to stick with the cold theme the whole way. Uh, get me that freeze pulse. And can I buy a one, two wisdom? See, so yeah, I can grab that. And unless I'm mistaken, I think I get glacial cascade at level 28. It could be 12, but I'm thinking 28. So it might be into act three before I get out of the freeze pulse. But freeze pulse is definitely really nice to play through your early game with. We've got Mr. Hailrake, and he was like right here at the start of this too, so he's got a lot of ads around him. Ah, don't kill me. Yeah, no, 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 stop it. Freeze Pulse, chill him, make him slower, and try and remove the other stuff here. Oh yeah, give me this gym level. Yeah, that'll help. Okay. Yikes. A rough first fight. Now I'm not going to die. I'll just be able to trade blows with him. He can't freeze me because I put on the boots. So I don't technically have to dodge his glacial cascades. This is what I want to be doing. Get some more damage. 
Oh, I actually have to click the thing if I want to see what's going on in here. Uh, I don't think the water elementals... Okay, make it like that. Don't give the rose extra damage. I'm used to it, like, throwing up the thing the second I start to open the map. Let's see... Elemental damage. Take the flame totem. That'll let me use a totem. Frost blink. Then grab arcane surge. That's why I got the two blue links for my freeze pulse. Flame Totem is really nice. You can throw it down and enemies will charge it to attack. And then with Freeze Pulse, since they're converging on that totem, it gives you a nice line a lot of times to be able to hit the enemies while they're like all charging the totem. You can like throw it down ahead of yourself and then just kind of let them do their thing with the totem. You got Retribution, even more damage, got some extra cast speed. Now mana recovery becomes a bit of an issue. I'll get to clarity. Or if I find another mana flask, that'd be fine too. Molten shell? Sure. Put it on. <laughs> I put it on and it blew up instantly. Oh, I have no armor. It, it can resist five damage. So no wonder I get hit and it'll blow up. All right. I forgot about this. All the, all, there's all the additions into the campaign. And yeah, no, fight, fight my totem. Make this nice and easy. And then I can use that essence to give myself spell damage on my wand. Going to be massive. Cool. Okay. Oh, no, I can't. It's a magic wand. Large mana flask. And start getting life. And a medium mana flask. Another large mana flask. Where are the life ones at? Discipline and training, more life. Uh, get this Whispering Essence of Greed. A lapis Amulet. Eh, I'll probably keep the life regen for now. There's a life flask and a goat's horn. Three blue links. I can put my essence on that. Spell damage, cold dot multi. Meh. I gotta hit this legion. See what this thing can give me. I like that it gives me more than 15 seconds. Bunch of rare items. Nothing useful though. No three links. I can maybe switch to this chest. I'll be able to link the flame totem to something. Made it to the prison. So I can take combustion. That works nicely with the flame totem. I got fire flat damage on this wand. That might be the best play. And then I can purchase added lightning. That with the breeze pulse. It'll be good enough. Next, I want to get Holy Dominion for the 12 all res there. Another large life flask. I got Holy Dominion. Aha! Power Amulet. That one's better. Ooh, I wonder if this is a chemist's chest again. Back here behind the wall. It is. It's rare. An Alk. Ooh. 2%. Oh, it's all 2% quality. Another Quicksilver flask, though. And we get Brutus. I didn't get level 11 before I got Brutus either, so that means I don't get the extra spell damage crit chance, but... My damage isn't too bad. Just use that flame totem. He'll target the flame totem. And I can just sit at range and blast with the freeze pulse. It's very nice. Oh, I even got to dodge that. And look at that. And just target the flame totem. Easy peasy. And now I can take Light of Divinity. Good chance spell damage. Oh, I don't even have gloves. More life mana. Ooh, I can check here. Where is... Yeah, level 28 gym. And grab Clarity. Do I have a red socket? I do. I'll grab a Vitality. All of these Sapphire Rings are rolled bad, but I'll buy two of them. What? Alk one. Nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. This is 500% chance of mana mods at level 10. Now, let's see. Let me collect that. The next waypoint, I want to go see if I can just craft something with mana mods on it at level 10 with one corpse. Just like free rare item. So this has all changed now since the last time I leveled the character. So this is my level 10 corpse. I bury just one corpse. Then I craft. I choose jewelry. I choose ring. I choose sapphire ring with mana mods. Item level 10 exercise. Yeah, it's that easy. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. Just like free rare item of your choice if you find one of them with unresolved anguish while you're leveling. You can just pick whatever base now. Anything. Okay, what next? Do I push the totem stuff? I probably should. Maybe I go through Amplify up here. Go through Purity of Flesh. 
And that's when I can get Ancestral Bond and get all the totem things here. I think that's the plan. And Strangle Charm, grab the All Flame, and then I can just go out this and it warps me straight to Fairgraves. That is so cool. Hmm. So in this case, it might be better for me to have gone to the Cavern of Wrath, which is probably over here, and gotten the waypoint and come back to go through the door. And then I end up here and then can take the waypoint back to the Cavern of Wrath. Because now I think I might end up having to run further. Because the play used to be you'd come out of the ship's graveyard cave at the entrance of it, and then you push onto the Cavern of Wrath and go back to the waypoint, then to Fairgraves. Hmm. I guess that's only in this case, too, because Fairgraves happens to be right where the waypoint, which is not always. Regardless, I do like the convenience of being able to just complete that quest. If I were to take a skill here, I mean... I'll take that Ice Nova. I've never found Ice Nova to be really good in like any capacity, but we'll give it a look. I will go ahead and buy a spell totem. I'll drop the flame totem and I'll make Ice Nova totem. I could make Freeze Pulse totem, but I, I still want control over my Freeze Pulse. So let's put that down. How big is it? Not bad, especially if it can like freeze and I can only have one right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Unresolved anguish. Give me something with cold. Let me make a new wand. Plus one to minimum number of linked sockets up to a maximum of four. Well, hmm. Now I'm curious about that. Okay, going to test. I go here and I put in, where is it? This craft. Just bury that alone. Weapon, wand, carved wand. Minimum two linked sockets. Exercise. There we go. Hey, it's a rare wand. With spell damage. Ha 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 ha. Sure. Works for me. All right. Mervale with an ice nova totem and freeze pulse. And cold on cold battle. With two eh, meh ones. Both of them have flat fire spells on them. But not that bad. It is better than playing with cleave. Like, damage is okay. The flame totem probably is still dealing more damage than the ice nova totem. But the ice nova totem is on theme. So, works for me. And still, totem can just draw fire. Like, even from Mervale. If Mervale wants to attack the totem, I guess. It won't always draw fire. No, okay. It wants to attack me. Fine. Not bad. Can I buy a helmet with a red socket? Soldier helmet? That'd work. Sure. Use Whispering Essence of Greed for some life. Rarity strength. Not too bad. Upgrade from the leather cap. Ooh, I can do the din as well and get a rare belt. Fire modifiers are 300% scarcer. Collect it. I take a rare leather belt. What do we got? Strength, life, regen, last charges. Better than 90s. Yes. Increased chance of fizz mods. Now, I wouldn't want that on anything, but it could, like, it could roll me a rare item of the base I want. It's like a free essence, but it also gives me the base. It just drops on the ground for killing a monster that happens to have the mod. Grabbed a topaz ring off the ground. Extra life. Lightning res. Drop the cold lightning res. Ooh. Pack monsters or rats. Okay, go in the chamber. Sins level two. The worst thing in here is the lightning spellcasters. Ranged lightning skeletons? No, the ones that cast spark. That's where I turn those into rats. Cool. <laughs> hey, rats. Get blasted with my ice nova totem. Easy. Whoa, what is this? A bunch of gems on the ground up here? Huh. Are these all gems I can't get on this character? Okay, hold up. Well, no, I don't want to refresh the zone. Just put rats in it. Like if I were to refresh the zone and go back up there, Chamber of Sins level 2 is where I'm at. Like, is there going to be different gems there? Wait, a light is down. Easy. And that gives me a Herald of Ice. Turn that on. Even more damage. We'll take out Bravalo. Why not? Big chills. I got a shock off and kill Creighton. 
Make sure my totem stays alive. Keep the arcane surge up. Yeah, he keeps getting away from the totem. He blinks around. And there goes Crate. Level 19, that has me purity of flesh. Untainted apes greatly increase XP. Now the question is, do I help Alira? Hopefully this ghost doesn't get on Oak. I don't want that. Got it. Definitely kill Oak though. Drop the totem and I just focus on Oak. I don't have a frost bomb. I can't negate his life regen from his enduring cry. Or the life leech if he gets me with Warlord's Mark. But it's not that bad. Got it. Armor can roll haunted modifiers. Here, let me let me have this. What is my worst thing right now? Amulet? Okay. So I grabbed a fire mods are scarcer. Bury that. And I have to right click this. I guess that adds it to the list. Um uh, armor. Armor can roll haunted modifiers. It does specify armor. So if I go to craft now, like if I then forced into like if I if I roll jewelry here, pick an amulet, I don't think it can roll haunted mods. So I probably want to do armor. Probably helmet. Oh. Uh let's do armor, energy shield, soldier helmet. Sure. What you got? Just life fire mana. Okay, so no haunted modifier on it. Hm. The league mechanic is so much better than it was the first trip through the campaign. It's pretty wild. 15 all reds, 5 flat mana region, 20 crit multi. Mm. I'm not a killer. I can do better with a jewel. Mm. I feel like it'd be really good. It's like always a hierophant though that I'm like wondering is like, maybe I take that actually. If you're going to work crit into the build, I don't know. It, it feels so potentially useful. Ooh, found another one. Fizz mods are scarcer. I'm getting so many more crafting options too than I was the first time through. I honestly don't remember crafting anything. And then I deleted like 10 to 15 corpses once I got the maps. So four passive points here. I don't take ancestral bond until I have the glacial cascade totems. Do I give it cast speed or defense? I think I eventually take all of these. So let's start by just doing damage. Crit chance if you've summoned a totem recently. That's good too. Untainted chimerals. Here's phase two of the weaver. Got the totem doing way more damage now. Feels really good. And it's also just in a two link. Hey, a three link helmet. Two blue, one red. Cost the transmute. Yep. Hit it with the... Essence. Okay, so now I can add what there. Maybe I give it a faster casting. Not conk effect. Ellie focus control destruction. I think I want to go crit. Uh, I'm gonna give it the elemental focus. Now the Vol Ruins is a massive zone, so it seems like a great place to let's see. Normal, 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 normal. Okay, so they're all normal spawn rates except for the bomb two. But pack monsters give increased XP. Yup. And then increased XP. Get rid of the constructs as well. Spell suppression bottom. Yeah, this should be fun. Yep, level up. Uh, take this crit chance. Yeah, there's some more apes. Nice. Oh, and the chimerals. Good, 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 good. Okay, more chimerals. This could be my level. Oh, not quite. Almost the rare enemy. You'll get it. Now, up here, this is where the totem crit stuff is. I could go in here and get spiritual aid. That could be more damage as well. Stormweaver's cold damage. I'm not going to be doing all cold damage, though, right off the bat. You know, I could just go ahead and get arcane potency, get more crit. Just, like, really... Back into the crit right off the bat. Oh yeah, the random double corrupt. Um, helmet. What you got? Corrupted. Nothing. Okay. Ooh, I got a magic pack of the chimerals. If I hit a strong box. Yeah, it actually spawned in some of the untainteds. Okay. I'm gonna go out of my way to go get this other strong box then. If it's gonna spawn untainted enemies, give me that XP. Level 24. In the Vol Ruins. More crit chance. Quartz Wand. Alk that. Lightning Cold. Let's see here. Uh, Replica Combs Heart. Ooh. It's gonna make a Mana Guardian with it. Okay, somebody mentioned this. 
There's a crafting recipe here that's some sort of like hidden thing. I don't know how to get this. So it looks like there's like a stairs entrance to it. So maybe I get access to that from somewhere else. Now, would it be in the vault pyramid part or is it somewhere here in the caverns? Well, I saw a crafting recipe in there as well. And there used to be a crafting recipe right by this waypoint. So I wonder, like, does it have something to do with here? No, doesn't look like it. Or is this just like connect up in here? Really? Hmm. There's still a door entrance there, which makes me think that like maybe the way to there isn't here. I have to go up and then find my way back down to it. That could be it. These stairs go up. Well, I cleared this level the ancient pyramid i still don't see anything back to the caverns let me let me fully search this level ah did i find something stairs aha vol skill damage rank one get more crit chance in multi cool plus one explicit modifier brawling gemlings plus five percent quality so while on the surface it seems like oh well those aren't amazing crafts but in reality, those are multiple alchemies on the base type of my choosing. If I've summoned a totem recently, I'm currently at 14.4 crit chance with a 190 multi. So it's still not amazing, but and vol time. Can put chilling ground down. I don't know if the frost blink's gonna really do much damage. Let's let the totem do its work. Give me crits with the freeze pulse. And then try not to die. I don't think my resistances are quite there, so I'll just try and play it safe. Here come the rocks. Let's slowly keep moving. I might want to turn on a totem health bar. Especially once I get multiple of them, at least. Currently doesn't seem like it has any issues, because it does have a health bar in the top left. But, ball down. City of Sarn, slap in this gymling leader. Wait, wasn't it supposed to drop a gym? It did not drop a gym. It dropped a three link. Here's another one. Gymling brawler. Frozen in air. Okay, this one did. 15% blood rage. And here comes another one. He's rolling magma enemies that come with them too. That's kind of scary in here. It's tougher than the unique enemy for this zone. That one did not drop a gym either. Superior splitting steel, 20 quality. 18 quality creeping frost. You know, that's not a bad idea. Let me put that in. Because Ancestral Bond says you cannot deal damage with skills yourself. But if I ramp the chill ability and bone chill with the creeping frost, it would still be able to chill, but it wouldn't do damage. Entropic Devastation. Grants Call of Steel. Crits with spells. Impale. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Is that an Uber Shaper item, maybe? I don't ever recall seeing that. Is there a mastery for cold that converts? Yeah, fist convert to cold. I need a cold mastery. So I'm going to rush here next. Maybe Heart of Ice. I need to get a cold mastery. And unless I'm mistaken, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any cold masteries over here. They're all up in the top right. I think there's one down here. Yeah, there's one right here as well. Artillery gemlings. Some more quality gems. Let's see. Let's take all of the cinder elementals and make them artillery gemlings. Casts cold snap. Yeah, it's better than fire. I have a little bit of cold res. So this thing fires a rain of arrows. 13 quality static strike. One that did not drop me a gem. So I think it might be trying to drop a gem that is outside of the level range of the zone I'm in. So it's trying to drop me a level 28 or 31 or whatever gym. Ooh, two of them on top of each other. Oh, three of them. Okay. Oh, there's a fourth one. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, give me some... Actually, I think there's seven. Um, Give me quality gems, please. Uh, That was a little bit crazy. I got a dash. Scorching Ray, 17 quality, 20 quality flicker strike, and a lightning strike. All right. Tormented Spirit, are you getting on piety? I don't know. Ow. Hurts. Hey, the ghost did not want to get on piety. We wanted to touch everything else in the room. Yeah, just gotta stay out of the lightning. We good? There we go. Four links are starting to show up. And now I can get... 
Frostbite. Can't use without dex. So it might be time to ditch the amulet. And let's grab strength dex. I don't have a chance orb. Yeah, do I have a fusing? I can buy a chance orb. Buy that. Works for me. And now I have frostbite. You know what? Why did I go buy a citrine amulet? I should just go make one in the graveyard. Let's see here. A level 23 craft plus one explicit modifier. Crafts. Jewelry. Amulet. Was it that I want? Citrine? Yeah, do it. Spell damage, life regen, mana regen, fire res. Better than what I have. I, I can just slap down another one. Extra quality. I don't even know if that works on an amulet. Int, fire damage, evasion, life per enemy killed. Craft jewelry. Let me make a ring. Two stone, cold fire. Yeah. This one, no. Uh, fizz mods are scarcer. Craft jewelry. Oh, this one's a lower level, so it doesn't have as many base options. Chaos res. Nope. I have no more. All these are from maps. Oh, well, here's another one. Asinia gratis. Okay. Oh, nice. I was able to find the thing in the docks really quickly. Very cool. Take a dex amulet. Is that better? Cast speed? No. How's my fire res look? 24%. This is going to be rough. Fighting Gravisius, but this will get me to the Glacial Cascade. All right. Well, I got the totem. Put the curse down. Will you... Attack the totem, please. Nope, he just wants to come after me. Ow. At least my damage isn't completely terrible. It's it's managing. Just gotta keep him getting hit by the... Ice Nova. And yeah, he keeps throwing stuff at me. He does not care about the totem one bit. So, oh, am I offered Glacial Cascade? No. The only cold thing it gives me is Ice Crash. Here we go. Glacial Cascade. Icicles emerge from the ground in a series of small bursts, each damaging enemies caught in the area and knocking them back in the direction of the next burst. It deals physical damage. Oh, it converts 100% to cold. Oh, I don't need that conversion that I was going after. I thought it was only a 50% fizz converted to cold. So it converts it all. Low effectiveness of added damage. Cannot knock back unique enemies more than once per second. Final burst deals 200% more damage and has 100% more AoE. And final burst cannot knock back. Causes four bursts. So first off, I just dropped the freezing pulse and now I have a glacial cascade. Now, if I target close, no. Like it has a set distance it's going to travel when it hits and explodes. And yes, it does knock stuff back. That's interesting. I mean, it's pretty cool just by itself. It's a little more going on than the freeze pulse and it rips. The fact that it forces stuff back is crazy. Oh, this is going to be a lot going on. <laughs> if I have several totems doing that, it's going to be big. Okay, so put the Freeze Pulse back. Swap out the Ice Nova. So now I've got Ellie Focus, Spell Totem, Glacial Cascade. All right, let's see. Put it down. Okay, enemies just kind of blew up on it. The cast speed is very slow compared to what I had. I think that's part of Spell Totem. Yeah, 40% less cast speed. What about Coal? I, like, chill him. Okay. Oh, there's an exile here. Cool. What's the base crit on that? Five. Okay. So going crit with Glacial Cascade is going to be difficult. Lightning mods are scarcer. But we got piety now. And I can't do big knockbacks. The hard part's going to be... Like, you want the fissure to hit the target. Or the the final burst but like keeping the totem at the correct range i would need to be like a super tank and like use a war cry to taunt the enemy to me and then kind of let the totem right like right there fire at it from range yeah it's not going great I, I'm out of flasks. I do have a portal button I can press now. But I could also clutch it. 
Where did Piety go? Am I blind? Really? Same spot? Getting st Wait, she gets stuck in the pillar? She can't warp out of the pillar. Whoa. Okay. Weird. Well, I could start getting the cold damage, I guess. And go into lab. Ooh, maybe I look for a four link first. No four link. It'll be fine, right? Ghoul is the first character to reach level 100. He did it. Congratulations, Ghoul. Mad Lad went from before level 99 to 100 in the same day. All right, is Zaro. We've got Sword and Shield. And we're going to have Bearers. Ah, I got to get the curse off. Hmm. Damages. Yikes. Curse does not last long either. We're making it though. Just keep firing. Ah! Give no quarter. Almost there. Please just just face. Just face. There we go. Ooh, a diamond shrine. Okay, that changes things. Freeze pulse leveling up also changes things. Hey, okay, round number two. We got portals. Get that curse down. Uh, and then don't die. Big thing I gotta avoid is the bearers and then the barrage of the green balls that does fire damage. Since I'm kind of weak to fire. But yeah, uh, this was so much easier <laughs> than the first round. Diamond Shrine OP. Especially when I got some crit multi. Final round. Curse. Move last like I could just do it with the glacial cascade I need a hatred instead of the herald of ice go for fizz's extra cold uh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. bear spirit whoa whoa crossplane cool down where are you at there ah no 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 just kill Kill him. Kill him. Oh my god. I got a unique. A Zergle's Crank. What is this? Extra block. Plus one all spell gems. A lot of attack block. ES recharge when you block. I mean, that's probably really good. So what's, what's in the helmet? Glacial Cascade. It says 368 DPS to 446. A big jump. Yeah, it gets an additional level. Uh, so let's see. I'd have to hit this with jeweler's orbs. I could get it to four sockets potentially. Uh, nope. Now it's at one. Oh, I hit four. Okay. So link it. Yeah. Okay. So then this can be glacial cascade, Ellie focus, spell totem, multiple totems. And I need somewhere for my frost blink. And then freeze pulse, arcane surge, and then the added lightning damage. I could try and chrome the staff and put the added lightning damage in there. Oh, let's see. Added cold damage would be even better. But there we go. That works. All right. Next, then transfigure a gym. I need to find a blue gym with 20 quality frost blink. Slap that in. Divine Iron Disintegration Arc of Oscillating Lightning Golem of Hordes. I know we have a Divine Ire of Disintegration in the League, so I'm going to take the Arc of Oscillating. Okay, then I become a Hierophant, and this gives me plus one number of summon totems, totem duration, totem placement, speed. So I would definitely need that. Ritual of Awakening is interesting. Sanctuary of Thoughts also is like, so I know for sure I take Conviction of Power. That's just big damage and defense. Pursuit of Faith is big. Plus one max totems. Huge. Ritual of Awakening is mana regen per summon totem, life regen per summon totem, and damage per summon totem. Now, if I have multiple totems, I can only get four of those down until I got a plus one from Ancestral Bond. That would give me a fifth. A shield would give me a sixth. But I wouldn't want to go above four, I don't think, at first. Because you place two totems down with multiple totems. You place two more. And then I want that to be it, or I place five and six or else you'd place down five and six it would remove one and 
it could prevent that one from attacking. So I'm kind of thinking, like, I want big AoE. If I got big AoE from Sanctuary of Thought, that would mean I need 5k mana. Alternatively, I could get AoE while I have Arcane Surge, Spell Damage leeches life, but I don't think that's going to affect the totems. The totems aren't going to leech life to me, I don't think. Arcane Surge granting more spell damage is huge. I don't know. This one's going to be hard. I've not played a totem, a spell totem build in a very long time. I definitely take the plus one totems here, I think. Don't need the Veil of the Night. That's bad. This belt is better for the graveyard. I got lightning mods are scarcer. I thought there was a fizz mods are scarcer or something. I might have already used that one. This is the only one I have. Berry, craft, armor, gloves, armor ES, ring mail. What you got? Ooh, bad. Very bad. Okay. I slept for like 12 hours picking this back up here. You know, buy a couple jeweler's orbs. Hit these boots. Beautiful. Perfect. I'll put my frost blink back in. Actually, if I can link this. Come on. There we go. Move my freeze pulse to here. I cannot buy added cold damage. Give it added lightning like it had. It'll be good enough to work. And now I can put down two of the totems. Yeah, it definitely seems a bit more destructive. Damage isn't super amazing out of it, but definitely a little more decent at clearing stuff. And more cold damage. Okay, yeah, these next two levels are going to be big. Proximity shields. Going to be an issue. Let's see how Dominus goes with this. Throw them down. Get the curse. Okay, damage is being done. Not spectacular. And is that all of them? No. The lightning one's still just over here. Come on. Yeah, like you need that final burst. Like how do I like I I guess the the knockback definitely helps to get to the final burst, but there's no like good guaranteed way. Ah, last one. Now, I think Dominus might do a better job at staying at range, so I put him here. All right, Dominus, nope. Like, move it back. I gotta place them in, like, particular spots. It's kind of weird, but... It's I mean, if when when they're hitting the final burst on the target, it's really good. Nice. All right, so I placed them outside of the rage here. Oh, I put no. He he moved. I don't want the you to move. To stay there and eat my glaciers. Yeah. Like it, it's capable of doing some kind of damage. Level 34. More cold damage. Increased chance of cold mods. Ooh. Is it possible that I instantly find my way out of this staff? All right. 100 foot shadow. I put the one too far away. Uh, easy enough. I wish the totem had like better range. Because they like, I get the enemy just like, like this one's, it's not there, but the glacial cascade could hit to that location, right? Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. With Glacial Cascade Mines, they're just going to fire at the nearest target, no matter what. Vol, Do you want to stand still for me? Yeah, I think they're getting in that final burst. With enough AoE, like, I could probably make it pretty solid. That they're going to get that final burst. Move them. It, it is doing some amount of damage. I'll give it that. And I get hard device now. Cold Pit. Glacial Cascade level. That's big. Crit Shrine is also like the best thing. Crit Shrine means I just kill things with Frost Blink. Honestly. Another Cold Mods. Level 36. Mana Mods are scarcer. I'm building up a bigger craft it seems like. Mastery here. Enemies near targets you shatter. Chance to inflict cold exposure on hit with cold damage. Let me take that, and then I'm going to get more life. A binding orb. That has massive potential. Tyke gratis. 10% life, 5 all res. How's that looking? 
Still awful. Increased chance of mana mods. No, thank you. Ooh, full ring mail. That's a potential chess piece. Let me out that. Life fire cold res. It's better than what I have. All right, Dresso. Let's go right here and here. I'm going to stand on top of him. Oh, he charged the totems. Not what I wanted, but they're doing enough damage. Phased it. They're not getting Dresso back during the invulnerability phase. That's pretty amusing, I think. Okay, reapply. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, get him against the wall. Nope. Okay, nice. Uh, ooh, what is this? Torch Oak Step. That's actually like kind of totem centric. Totems reflect 100% of their max life as fire damage to nearby enemies when hit. Um, well, if I had the strength, I feel like I gotta try and use that, right? Attack mods are scarcer. Another Glacial Cascade level. I think what I'm gonna try and do next is push down to Frostwalker for the cold cast speed. Maybe push that down all the way to Arcanist Dominion. Two stone ring. What do we got there? Cold lightning res. Okay, it covers the cold res on this ring. So, gotta do it. Resist is looking a lot better, actually. 40 on the fire. Getting there. Ooh, plus one link sockets. King comb. I keep totems like... I feel like I need some kind of... Bear trap, almost. After beating Comb and Dresso, now we can upgrade some stuff. Give me this multiple totem support. So add multiple totems, spell totem, glacial cascade, and Ellie focus. Still not sure about that, but got it. Then I also buy a bone chill. That'll be for the creeping frost. It'll get the arcane surge. This could be where the freeze pulse just comes out. Let me see if I can make this all blue. All blue. There it is. And then unbound ailments with that. Well, I am also no longer tethered to this Zergil's crank. It was graveyard time. Plus one explicit modifier. Two of those. Cold mods. Cold mods. Resistance mods. Attribute scarcer. Mana scarcer. Chaos scarcer. I'll save the attack scarcer. No, just put it in. Use all my little, little crafts. Um, and I've got plus one linked sockets. Sure. Craft, armor, shield, energy shield. Um, I might have messed something up. It's giving me higher tiers of shields than I could wear. Go walnut spirit shield. Three chance of cold resistance mods. Do it. What we got? Plus one fires, gems, triple res. Did not hit. Where was the cold? I removed all of the corpses that are not unique. Oh yeah, now I get four. Place two at a time. And I come in with the creeping frost. Super chill. And I got a curse. Oh yeah. Oh, found an exile. And they're cranking now. Get a 25% chill off. All right, Heidi. You're going to get knocked back across the room. Oh no, only knocked back once a second. Oh, but they're going to target the... Oh no. Target Piety, please. And they are going to get nuked. By the beam? No, they're still alive. Wow. I'm impressed. I figured they were very dead. Having four of them is awesome. It's going to be even more awesome having six. Cool. Up well, first, we got Maligaro. I kind of like the fact that I'm not knocking him back as much because he's just sitting in the perfect range there. Ah, well, stuns are good. Oh yeah, then Dodre, no curse, still chill. And I wait. If I stand in the vulnerability, does it matter where the totems are? I don't think so. I think it, it depends on the curses on me, the damage that they do. That was pretty solid. Then Chavron. Come on. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta keep the bone shield going. There we go. Yep. Ooh, new helmet. Lots of life. Lots of fire res. Alright, place totems. Curse. Chill. Yes, indeed. Malachi. Okay, on to piety. Curse. Make sure she's chilled. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The damage is seeming kind of okay here. I feel like that's kind of always with Malachi, though. Since you got to go through so many phases, the phases are short. You just get little bursts of damage and everything feels just way better than it probably actually is. I feel like I want the focus ballista like you have for the ballista totems. So that I can like force them to fire at a target. That's too far apart. Let's go like right there. Curse. Chill. Good. They need to be like right here. Get that. Yes. Yes. Ha ha ha. This is cool. And then the next heart. Good. And that should be the next phase. All these ads in here. I draw a bit of the fire. Oop. Didn't kill the totems. And there goes Malachi. Oh yeah. I'm feeling it a little bit now. Ooh, what about a Void Sphere? A Void Sphere would hold enemies in a spot. That could get really tedious. Ice Golem also requires Dexterity though. Do not have. Just not worry about it. Into Act 5. Level 41. Glacial Cascade level. <laughs> okay. Two Stone Ring. Fire Lightning, Fire Cold, All Res. I like the big ups on fire cold. Hurting on lightning. Craft life on that. I do need a new pair of gloves still too. Let's see. Riveted gloves? Why not? Uh, ooh, before I do that, quality of these. Alk? Oh, why did I alk it? I should have binding orbed it. That's a big chunk of life. It's gonna break me on decks, ain't it? Yeah, I need decks. More decks somewhere. So if this wasn't good enough, scour it, then binding orbit? No, that did not work. Chaos spam it. Life lightning res strength. Spot for decks. You know what? Let's go look. What does it take to craft decks? 15 to 20. Cool. That'll work. I need a green socket, please. There we go. Now my resistances are okay. At Justicar Casticus. Doesn't get knocked back. As much? Easy. Level 42. That gets me Frostwalker. That extra cast speed, I think, will affect the totems. Avarius. Oh, one's out of range. No. Move these ones here. Oh, one's out of range again. It's okay, we're faced. And then I gotta deal with the prox bubbles on this nonsense. They do get knocked back while they're in their prox bubble, even though they're not taking damage. And then round two. I like the, like, offsetting them a little bit so they kind of cross on the target. And then they're going to, like, push the target back in the same direction, you would think. Like, kind of working together a little bit. And I think that's phased. Yep, nice, perfect. Yep, do the beam thing. They will just wail on that location. Round three. Yeah, just stay right there. Just like that. Easy. Get to Arcanus Dominion. More spell damage. Cast speed. Increased chance of cold mods. That went well last time. A mirrored item can also be unidentified. Okay. I want a little option like this itemized corpse on the other side to destroy it. So that I can get my chrome orb that's, that's back here. Without it being painful. Facial cascade level. Ooh, grab a diamond flask. Reduced effect of curses, increased duration. I'll take it. Grab heart and soul. Do I commit to the crit? I push all the way out here for Doomcast. It lets me get Glacial Cage. It will give me this spell block, spell damage here. Give me access to additional curse. That's good. Or do I instead go for the elemental damage? Take the 50 flat life. 
that I know I need. I think next I'm going to come get Sovereignty. Mana Reservation Efficiency. All right. And then Kitava will offset. Well, I guess right there is fine. Nope, they got to be a little bit closer. I, mean, I guess he's probably big enough that he's always going to get hit by the final burst. Right there and right there. Yeah, we shouldn't need anything crazy. Yeah. Stationary boss is fantastic for these. And then the heart, you get them good enough distance, curse, chill. Okay. Dodge that. Totems do all the work, so it's it's actually ow pretty easy. All right, yep, got to place them at range. Art phase done. And ow. Tava, mean, got him. And then resists are gonna tank a bit. Holds up, a little under on fire, could use some lightning. All right. Here to Tidal Island, so now I buy Hatred, remove Herald of Ice. Gives physical as extra cold and more cold damage. And does not leave me with enough mana yet to use it. So, I'll hold off on that. Next level or two will get me mana reservation efficiency to fit that in. Facial Cascade leveled up, which means more damage. Forgotten Warriors. Oh, I hit that crit flask. The Dishonored Queen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Then Tukuhama. Totem Boy versus Totem Boy. Yeah, that should be E phase. Yeah. Now, this is the hard part. Get them, getting them to target these totems. Just put them on top of it. It's probably the best way, actually. Oh, but they, they push it across the room! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, and then finish off Mr. Tukuhama. Yeah, just chill right there for me. Yup. Alright, level 47. And a reservation efficiency, I should be good on that now. Actually, let's see. 550 DPS to 734. So that, that hatred's uh, gonna do work. Reassembled Brutus. Get the crit flask. Oh yeah, like we're doing some damage! And we've got Chavro. Based? Yes. Good. Now, if I can get behind him. Yeah, keep him right here. And I need to put him further back. Ow. Ow. Got him. Ooh, modifier tier rating. Aberath. Chill. Let the totems do their thing. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to get myself some kind of war cry and be tanky enough to, like, let the boss target me so I can get maximum damage up time out of the totems. Or find a way to, like, trap them. I don't know that I want to, like, work in a bear trap to this. Abrat down. Level 49. There's Sovereignty. Ooh. Draven gratis. Ooh, I never got this attributes crafting recipe. I should do that. Attributes rank two. All right, then we got Rislatha, who is tormented. Yay. That's good. Can the totems survive the chaos damage? Doing fine so far. Right here, right here. I'll get better at picking that distance as time goes on, I'm sure. Not bad. Ooh, four link helmet. I want to go with the siege helmet, but I guess the zealot helmet because I don't have the strength for it. Anything? No. X6 passives. Damage is feeling good. I'm just going to come over here, grab Glacial Cage. 
permanently take 1% increased damage for each second they've ever been chilled by you. I was contemplating going ahead and pr getting practical application for the strength decks there, but we'll get Glacial Cage first. Level 51, that's got me Glacial Cage. Glacial Cascade level. The game's like, yo, I heard you wanted more damage. <laughs> and it provides. What's my crit chance? 9%? I would have guessed it would have been better than that. All right, I'm going to get in more crit chance. And I need to replace the Ellie Focus with crit strikes. Defeat the Brine King. Who is going to target me and let the totems do their work. Yes, indeed. This might be a little tougher when the arena gets smaller, but let me see if I can move him down. No, I think he wants to fight the totems. No, there we go. I got him in the move a little bit. I'll be able to preempt it a little better the next time. Okay, place totems, totems. I want to be here. Chill, curse. And they should be knocking back in this direction, so he'll stay. Perfect. Place them again, and then curse, and then just draw his attention. Easy. Now, I take Soul of Brian King. Upgrade effects do not apply until the quest An End to Hunger is completed. All right. Don't get the bonus effects till after Kitava. And act in. Okay, then. I guess I'll keep the Wonderless Boots on. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Templar doesn't get the Critical Strikes gym, even though it has a class built around Critical Strikes. I guess I'll just start leveling that up. The 1048, if I were to just swap that in. 881. Okay. Not quite. Need more multi. Malagar, round two. I like the little cross strike of Glacial Cascade. It's very cool. And the damage is is coming. It's actually coming. What about Fidelitis? Not bad. Then last Malagaro. Get him. Don't let him do his thing. Yeah. 54. That gets me more crit chance and multi. Crit's always going to feel bad until I get that crit gym in. Because I need the base crit. But, oh, well, the dogs went down here real easily. The bone chill. I got I to gotta not forget about that and make sure I'm maximizing that uptime. Hey, and Togum got targeted by Roost. Easy. Ooh, life, fire, cold, lightning, res, bell drop. Does that just fix my resistances for the rest of the run? Oh, it just about does. Wow. All right, Groot Cool should stay pretty still, I think. Oh, I moved the totem. It's so wonky. Ow. Looking around for totem placements and got walloped. Ah, nice. Crit chance is up to 13.75. 12.99 to 11.21. Up to 25.13. So not quite yet. Three more passives. I really just kind of start getting that crit chance. And now I go do lab. Glacial Cascade level on the cusp. If I don't die here defensively, I'll be in a much better situation. All right, starting with gargoyles. And we got two hand mace. So, oh. Oh, well, okay. It's Zaro. Get wrecked. Golems. I'm going to put them here because I don't want them to target the gargoyles. Yeah, because of the gargoyles, this one didn't go quite as smoothly, but even still. Very happy with the Zaro damage. Level 56. I'm going to go ahead and get the multi, not the crit chance side here. I'm about to get a ton of crit chance. No crazy, crazy traps. I think this is probably a good spot to start this one. Curse chill. Oh, he jumped. It means he's not going to get the final burst. Totems took out all the adds though, so... No big... Finish him, please. There we go. 
another binding orb. We need quality discipline. That'll work. Throw that in here. Summon skeletons of mages. Stormbrand of indecision. Spark of the Nova. I'm gonna take the Stormbrand of indecision. I think we have somebody in the league playing that. Having a 20 quality one might be nice. Then I take conviction of power. And then I now have four endurance charges and four. Or power charges. Resists are all capped up now. Crit chance 24.75. Damage says 1694. Now when I swap the crit gem in, damage is still 1515. Still not there. Even though it jumps up to 40% crit chance. I'm going to stick with it though. The next two levels will get me multi. And now the glacial cascade is going to be able to freeze stuff. That's why I want the crit. Kill our Kali. So right here, right here. Curse. Yes. Good, good. Perfect. Ah, uh, moved. Here we go. Another big boss, so. Should be enough to phase. Round number two. Alrighty. Don't fi ah, it's okay. We'll finish it over here. Nice and easy. Into Act 8, level 57. It's another... Whoa. It's another 10 crit multi. And I'm starting to drop 6 sockets. This is probably where I'm going to dump my inventory of currency. If I need anything from this point out, I'll get it. But I don't want to, like, have to micromanage such a small inventory to keep my currency separate. I could finish the campaign with the gear I'm wearing right now. Frostbite needs decks to level up. Now there's an item. Fractured 30% movement speed boots. 27 quality at that. Ridiculous. I'll throw some frogs and some rats in the sewers. This is something I'm really worried about on this build. The spell block. Pack monsters drop Karubi tattoos. That can go into and hit that with quantity of items found. Level 58. Grab Doomcast. The next levels are going to go into precision. Get that 20 dex cast speed here as well. Hey, I found Rakiata. You going to drop me some tattoos? There we go. Blade Dancer. Tax Mame. Salio Shaman. Chance to hinder. The Tormented Frogs are awesome. Alright, what you got, Dodre? Nice, that's a decent spot for you. Yeah, just stay right there. Yes, please. Easy. 4% cast speed. Gemling Legion, get some Glacial Cascade on Glacial Cascade action. And... Oh, one left. We good? Yeah. Level 60, there's my dex. Hatred, Creeping Frost, Frostbite levels up. Yay, frogs. Use that in the Porcupine Zone. Glacial Cascade, level up. Oh, I forgot to put the things. Oh, well. I was going to freeze and shatter them anyways, so it's not like they're going to be a problem. Next levels, I guess. Oh, I go here so I can get more strength and dex on my way to Throat Seeker. Definitely going to need more dex. But you go... Phased. And then his adds. Not as clean as it was fighting the single target. Round two. I think I only got two totems firing at it. But phased. And then final phase. GG. You'll get my Act 8 passives. So these three passives get me crit multi. Next level gets 30 more. Dust. Carbinger of Lunaris. Not going down quite as fast as Yugal did. Maybe I didn't have it in the final burst. Level 62, 30 crit multi. That has it up to 294. Let's see, is that elemental focus better now? 2907, 3056. It still likes it, even though my crit chance goes from 45 to 27. But I don't get to freeze stuff with Ellie Focus. Hey, a blueprint. And Dawn. Total placement speed is so crazy, I want to put them all over there. It should be fine. 
Unless he gets knocked back out of range. Ooh, Glacial Cascade level up right before Solaris Lunaris. Let's see what they got. Come on, all target Solaris. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha Over there, one over here. Lunaris. Yes. Instantly targeting Solaris. Oh. This is going very well. Gotta keep re reapplying my curse. I just gotta pretty much run around and wait. Solaris down. And Lunaris down. Act 9. Divine Orb. Hello. Thank you. I came out of a barrel. Ooh, an automation support. I've done all this so far without any automated guard skills or anything. I've done a lot of specking into damage. I need to work on life now. So I'll get written in blood. Level 64. That gets written in blood. Also gets me to level up vitality. Next level needs dex. What about Shikari? Still jumps around all over the place. Targets won't target when she's underground which i guess that's fair all right coming back out and finish it off easy the basilisk oh i think it destroyed two of them actually and it can turn the totems to stone what about Garakon? You gonna stand still for me? Okay. Phase one, yeah. Cure goes down just as quick. And, yep. Right through phase two. Add stun. And finish it. Oh, she went invisible. Only once going invisible, though. That's... Really good for that fight. Two act nine passives. Get Dex. Where do I want to go next for life? I think I'll go to Devotion through here. General Adis. I put the totems on top of him. Let's move them right there. Right me. Yes, sit right there. All right, I think the totem attack speed gets obliterated by the lightning beams as well. Before I go into the belly of the beast, see if I can go craft something. I've been saving up for a minute. All right, I don't need that many explicit mods. I think I only need two. Increased chance of cold. 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 Caster. Elemental. Fire scarcer. Don't use the speed one. Uh, let's throw in all the mod tier rating. I have a bunch of links. I mean, I could try and do it on staff. If I try and do it on staff, I can put the speed one in. You know what? Let's do it. Speed one goes in. And then go. Oh, that's two links, three links, four links, and then use the five. I should guarantee a five link staff with six mods. Minimum five links. The lowest 72% of mod cannot roll. Big chance for cold elemental caster speed. The weapons. Staff. Primordial, I guess. I am level 63. Do it. Can it beat my Zergle's crank? Spell damage, cold dot, flat cold dispels, lightning skill gems. Hmm. Okay, so it says 34, 52, 32, 86. If it would have given me the plus one cold, I think it would have been GG. I mean, the cold dot multi definitely is going to help the creeping frost. Yeah, absolutely raises the creeping frost damage. I mean, okay, so I'll use it. I need to recolor it. So one green and then two and two. A staff is also not the plan for this build, but there we go. One green, two and two. Grab cold pin. So it's going to do more damage anyways. Don't need this heli focus. And then I don't have to worry about other sockets. And then let's fill the belly of the beast with some harmless frogs. Ember meat sacks. Might be worth holding on to at this point. Level 65. The next two levels get me life. Chavron. Get the curse. Get the chill. Looking good. They're all still firing. Oh, now she's going up in the air, though. Let's move them a little closer. Should still get the blast. It was close. Maligaro. I mean, that's an okay spot for him. Looks like he's getting hit by him. 
We already phased? No, he just warped across the room. Now we're phased. And get all these little ads. I guess he just wants to be up there too. Nice and packed in the corner. Dodre, let's go here and here. Curse, chill, but they're going to target the totems. Okay, just leave this one back here alone for me. Hopefully they, yeah, they're still attacking Dodre. Good. Put them back there and there. Oh, need to move. And GG. And a depraved trinity. Oh, I got one on the right not attacking. Gonna move them. Okay, they do get the temp chains if I put them in the purple. Don't want that. Phase one down. Oh, come on. Stop putting it in the purple. Okay. Trinity's back out. Need to move them closer. Oh, I think the ball might have just, like, deleted the totems. Yeah, I think so. I think the big red ball will delete totems. Trinity down. Act 10. Defeat the Plague Wing. We freeze him. Yeah, didn't even get an attack off. Valenta time. Yeah, just sit right there. Face, face. Yes. Perfect. Ow. And round two again going with the beams. It didn't work so well for you last time. Yep. Right into the next phase. That was with the totems on top. All right, do it again. Yep, right in the beams. Okay, bye, Valenta. Give me that passive point. Do slash passes. This should say 22. Good. Got a level for devotion. 2433 life. I can make my life a lot better. Just go craft life on both my rings. Yes. You did not get slapped. I got slapped. And dodge that. Probably place new ones down. GG. <laughs> the easiest that fight's gone in a long time for me. Let's see you. Elegant ring mail? No. Well, I can craft life on it. Let me go do some minor crafting. Uh, the T2 life here and here. Not worry about the chest. I can craft life on my amulet. Now, I'm not going to do lab, but what I would grab next is definitely Arcane Blessing. That's going to mean I can drop the Arcane Surge for an efficacy on the Creeping Frost or something else I might be able to use to increase the effect of non-damaging ailments there. It's still going to be doing damage until I get my shield crafted, but that's just 20% more spell damage, and if I increase the effect of Arcane Surge, that spell damage gets buffed. And then beyond that, I'm not sure. Maybe Ritual Overwaking, because that's more damage. So I could increase my damage going into Kitava, but I'm a bit behind schedule, so save it for next time. Level 67. Um, now what? Let's get crit multi against unique enemies. Then Kitava. Place the totems. Get the chill, get the curse, and rip. <laughs> Damage is solid. Okay, what about the heart? Oh, need closer. There we go. Looking good. Go again. Oh, I've moved the totem. Need the totems to stay at range here. There we go. Yes, good, good, good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Face, art, I like this idea. Let's like put them along this edge. Come on, attack the heart. They're attacking the ads. It's gonna happen though. Next round. Innocence is already freed. Don't want to stand in that though. Totems can stay there. 
No fire breath. All right, place them down. Oh, I should move up here. I still never got a war cry to taunt stuff. Totems, attack the heart, please. There we go. Get my last two passives, but you know what? I'll also put into damage. We'll get the uh, crit chance per power charge. And there's crit multi per power charge, damage per power charge, plus one minimum. So then I can get a fifth power charge. Just have that up all the time. More spell damage per power charge. Mm, I can get shock immunity while it max power charges. That's pretty nuts. But that is where I will stop for today. Next time, I'll get it more fully geared up. I have a chest. I have a taste of hate. So this is going to give me another 14% physical is extra cold. As well as a bunch of max cold res. Fizz taken is cold. Nice defensive layer there as well. Very nice. Then I've got the replica dragon's fangs flight. That's plus three level of glacial cascade gems. And I've got a level 21 glacial cascade so there's potential for this to go kind of crazy i am excited don't really have much of a weapon but eh, i've got a lot of really good stuff for it so we'll see how it shapes up we'll have to craft some things but i'm still sitting on uh essence treasure trove so um i'm certain i'll be able to make it happen and i even have a shaper spirit shield that i can use to try and get the plus one summon totems as well it's going to be fun you have to tune in next time to see how that goes and just a heads up there will be no video this coming tuesday because i have to travel for a couple hours to go watch a solar eclipse so that's going to take me out for monday so there won't be a video on tuesday it will still be a video tomorrow but just wanted to give you a heads up on that. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks to the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.